super soft bread rolls with me, Miss Raz. Ingredients. You will need 300 grams of strong white flour. Strong white flour is more glutinous, it's better for bread making. You'll need some milk to brush your bread at the end to make them nice and golden brown when they come out of the oven. One to two tablespoons of sugar, depending whether you're making sweet or savory bread. A pinch of salt, both these ingredients help the yeast activate. Then you'll need about two tablespoons of melted or solid butter. You can also use oil. Butter makes it a little bit richer, but it's up to you. Then you will also need some fast acting yeast because it's a quick recipe and we want the yeast to activate quite quickly. You will also need about 200 millilitres of tepid water. Tepid is lukewarm. If I put my finger in it, it's not hot, it's not cold. The dough. Make a well in your flour, add the yeast, the sugar and the salt. Um, I'm adding cinnamon because I'm making sweet bread. And then rub your butter in, whether it's melted, solid or it's oil. Then you're gonna make another well in the center of your flour and add all of your water. If it gets a little bit wet, you can add flour as you go. Once it comes together, you are gonna knead it for a good 10 minutes. Kneading develops the gluten strands in the dough and makes it smoother. If your dough starts to stick, just keep adding flour. You don't really want the dough to stick to the surface. Usually you'd let your dough prove for about 30 minutes to an hour. I don't need to do this for this recipe because the bread comes out nice and soft due to the fast acting yeast. Once you're happy with the consistency of your dough and it starts bouncing back a little bit, it's now time to divide your dough into sections. I can get eight rolls out of this. So first I cut the whole ball into quarters and then each quarter into half, making eight nice sized dough balls. Add a little extra flour to the surface. When you've cut them, it makes the inside a bit sticky. So this just stops them sticking. So this one's going to be a twist. So I'm going to cut it in half, roll it, and then twist one piece on top of another until I get to the end. The second one is a plait. So I'm going to split it into three sections and then I'm going to put the edge piece over the middle piece and repeat until I get to the end. For this plait, I kind of folded it over to create a knot look. This one I'm just going to make into a regular plait, again folding the edge pieces over the middle. For a regular round roll, just pat the ball of dough into a circular shape. For a baguette, you can just pat it into a longer shape. I'm using the scissors to create an effect on the top. This little guy is a hedgehog, so I'm just putting lots of snips into him to create kind of spikes, I guess. This one's slightly more complex, so it's a four strand weave. And you go from the edge to the other edge. So you're gonna take the very edge piece and put it over and under and repeat until you get to the end. For the very last one, I am going to create an actual knot. So I need to roll this into a long strip and then I'm literally going to tie it on itself. I've allowed the rolls to rest and rise for about five minutes. I'm going to coat them with the milk to make them golden when they come out of the oven. Once covered, you're going to put them in a preheated oven at gas mark 8 or 220 degrees for about 20 minutes. To check they're cooked, you're going to lift the roll up and tap it on the bottom. It should sound hollow. And look how soft they are, beautiful, soft, cinnamon flavoured rolls. Yum. Enjoy.